tie my laces and walk adjacent to father's patience Right next to Satan, the sin lies, it come me raiment Can't grow complacent, my heart is racing, the Lord is waiting I follow in his footsteps, it's not complicated I've been living in this hell, so I gotta make it How did he rejoice? Rejoices greatly! He rejoiced greatly, and that's how I want you to rejoice today because the reason why we're out, we're out here is because we rejoiced greatly when we heard and we understood these words. We finally saw we're going to get help. Somebody's going to save us. This world has failed us. Our parents have failed us. Our grandmothers have failed us. Our religious leaders have failed us. Our government has failed us. He rejoiced greatly because he knew according to the word of God, this man is going to change the world. And he did! something concerning baptism John chapter 3 verse 25 watch this because John the Baptist created baptism all right and look what they look what happened when they were questioning him it's the book of John chapter 3 verse 30, 25. 25 then there arose a question between some of John's disciples and the Jews because because when John stepped on the scene, he had his own ministry so he said there arose a question between John's disciples and who and the Jews and the Jews the Jews never seen that they never heard that before somebody taking people and dipping them in water so they were questioning him what's this stuff you doing now read on about purifying about you dipping people in water and saying that you're purifying them for God read on and they came unto John and said unto him Rabbi he that was with me beyond Jordan which was Christ Christ was with him beyond Jordan read on to whom thou bearest witness they said you know who we talking about read on behold the same baptizing and all men come to him they said now everybody's following him you was dipping people in water we're confused who do we follow do we follow this guy or do we follow you read on john answered and said a man can receive nothing what a man can receive nothing what a man can receive nothing go on except it be given him from heaven so any gifts that we get to better our lives it comes from the heavenly father John the Baptist took it off me. He didn't say, come, let me dip you in water. He said, what? Except it be given him from heaven. Read the whole thing again. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing. Can receive what? Nothing. Except it be given him from heaven. So he didn't take the credit. He gave it back to the Father. Read on. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not the Christ. He said, I'm not Christ. Don't put emphasis on what I'm doing. Read on. But that I am sent before him. He was just sent to pave the way for his cousin to come. And we're supposed to follow his cousin. Because Christ didn't dip people in water. He said, now you are clean through the words which I have spoken unto you. Give me that in John chapter 15 verse 3. We're going to come back here. It's the book of John chapter 15 verse 3. Now, excuse me. <clears throat> now you are clean. You are what? You are clean. You are what? You are clean. Through the word which I have spoken unto you. Because there's no water like what they had back then when John was dipping people in. Now we have God's word. I'm cleansing you with the word. I'm giving you a clean mind. I'm giving you a clean heart. Because the world has lied to us. The world had taught us things that don't go with the Bible. So we have to go back into the word of God and clean you up. Go back to John chapter 3. Watch. Because the church taught us different religious beliefs. Like... Uh, there's a religion called Pentecost which was a high holy day it was made up there's no religion called Pentecost here the, the baptism it was a religious belief made up there was no religion in here called baptism okay it was something that John the Baptist did to bring the people to the repentance in Christ he's gonna say it read it again John, John chapter 3 verse where do we stop Ye, John chapter 3 verse 28 Ye Stop. Read 27. Verse 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. So he didn't take credit. He told the people, Listen, what I'm doing is nothing. The Heavenly Father guides your destination, your soul. Ye yourselves bear witness that I said, I am not the Christ. Why did he say he was not the Christ? Because it was written in the Bible that Christ was going to be the one to save everybody, not him. So you have to take the emphasis of him. Read on. But that I am sent before him. My job was just to announce that he's coming. That's it. Read on. He that 
Excuse me. He that had the bride. Because the relationship between Christ and the Israelites is a marriage. It says, he that had the bride, the nation of Israel was a bride. Read on. Is the bridegroom. Read it again. He that had the bride is the bridegroom. But the friend of the bridegroom, which standeth and heareth him, rejoiceth greatly. Why did he rejoice greatly? Go back to John chapter 15, verse 3. Why did he rejoice greatly when he heard him? Because Christ said this. Read it again. John chapter 15, verse 3. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto because you. Because Christ's words clean us up. The words are Christ. That's why when you go into a church and they're speaking about Christ, something happens in your soul, in your mind, in your heart, in your body. Okay, the only reason why we want to be baptized is because we read about it in the Bible, but the people, the religious leaders made a money-making thing. You know how much they charged me? When my child, they wanted to charge us $500, the church, to baptize a child. It's a money-making thing. Now, now, now think about it. How many people do you know that were baptized and they walk according to the Bible? They do everything the Bible says. I don't know any, and I know a lot of people that was baptized. Just about everybody here was baptized and they still not following what God says. Okay, so it's very important that you put emphasis on what? Read it again. John 15 verse 3. Now ye are clean. What's going to clean you up? What's going to get your mind right, your heart right? Read on. Through the word which I have spoken unto you. So we're out here to speak words to you to change your life. Number one, we love you. That's why we are. We could have been doing any other thing. All of these men came from different walks of life. I didn't believe in God. Because my mother sent me to a church with the white shirt, the hard bottom black shoes, well, put the oil in my hair and brush my naps and say, go to church. And I would fall asleep in the church because they kept telling me and they made a stop. I would only wake up to sing and then sit my black behind down and go right back to sleep. Because they weren't speaking any words that were meaningful, nothing that would make me change. I know numerous people, you dip the baby in water, then the baby grow up, the baby's on drugs, the baby is selling, excuse and crack. The baby's selling crack. She's a whore. Why does that not work? Think about it. Why does it not work? Because the churches are teaching you the wrong thing. What changes us is a good heart and a good conscience towards God. That's right. Go back to where he was in John chapter 3. Watch this. John chapter 3. Verse 27. Let's bring it home now. Let's bring it home. Verse 27. John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven so the first thing you have to understand is for change to come in your life we have to listen to the heavenly father not man give me jeremiah 17 verse 5 this is why we don't listen to man this is why we don't listen to man all men on this earth have failed us even me i failed you that's why i'm out here now trying to make your life better i don't want to go before the father leave this earth and i didn't change nobody's life right. so this is what god says concerning that jeremiah 17 verse 5 Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 5 Read on Thus saith the Lord Who? Thus saith the Lord Who? The Lord Read on Cursed be the man that trusteth in man So when you walk away from here sister Don't trust no man that's coming with his own agenda You trust people that's showing you what God says Read it again Thus saith the Lord Cursed be the man that trusteth in men. Because we're trusting men now to inject stuff into our arm. And we don't know what it is. They're forcing us. They just made it. Then they complain in the news. All oh, the blacks and the Hispanics, they're rejecting it. They don't want it. Why? Because they've destroyed us. Bring it they haven't done anything to make our lives better. Uh, they robbed us hey. of our land, our heritage, our culture, our identity. They did the Tuskegee experiment. You know what the Tuskegee experiment is? The Flint, Michigan, the water. Okay, they poison our food. Why should we trust them now and go and line up and let them stick things in us? I'm not an anti-vaxxer. If you could prove to me that this stuff is going to stop the pandemic, the stuff that's going to line up and I'll take it. But guess what? You've been lying to me for a long time and the Bible says what? Thus saith the Lord, cursed be the man that trusteth in men. So if you walk away from here with anything, God says don't trust man. And I don't trust no man. If they're not coming with what this Bible says, I'm not listening to them. Read on. And make it flesh his arm. Don't rely on the fleshly arms of man. Rely on the spiritual arm of God that wakes you up every day, that makes sure you eat, that heals you, that created the sun, the moon, the stars. Because this world don't believe in a God. Right. They believe in evolution. They believe that an explosion happened. You ever heard of that? 
Okay, they believe that an explosion happened and that's how all this came about. Man made that up, that's foolishness. There's, there's a divine order to how things work. It has to be someone behind with a heart, with a mind, with a body, with compassion. Because he said he made us in his image. What we have, he has. So I'm listening to him. Read it again. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in men and maketh flesh his own, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Men's heart have departed from the Lord. That's why the world is the way it is now. Okay, think about, did you think in 2019, in 2020, you'll be standing with me talk, wearing a mask? Okay, and the world is telling you, there's people telling you, look, this stuff came from someplace. It didn't just happen. There's too much people trying to wake up and speak and say, look, I know science. I worked on this stuff. It came from somewhere. The president was saying it's the Chinese disease because they said that it was created in Wuhan, China. Then they was like, no, not stop lying, Mr. White Man. In 2015, you sent it to Wuhan, China. You paid us money because Dr. Fauci came out and he said it. They put him on the spot before the officials and he said, look, we sent it there for them to research on it. Why research when in 2015 a moratorium was passed saying don't mess with it no more. It could only kill people. Now all of a sudden it's on us and the people who are pushing it are for population control. Okay, it doesn't make any sense. Like I said, if you could prove to me, because the people who are behind it, God said don't trust them. And they never had our best interests at heart. Now, because we're curious about what's happening, we don't want it in our bodies, they said we're going to fire you from your job. We're not going to let you in the store. We're not going to let you on a plane. Why? It don't make no sense. That's all I'm asking is for things to make sense. And the Bible says don't trust man. Go back to John chapter 3. Let's go. Let's finish what she was saying about baptism. Shalom, Israel. This is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right. I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. Because I don't want her to walk away from here without the gift of God, the proper understanding. John chapter 3 verse 27, John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. Let's watch this now, let's watch this. How many churches you see the pastor baptizing babies for years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, then you find out that that pastor was molesting little boys, having sex with the women in the church, stealing money, and he just dipped you in water as a baby. The Bible says what? Read 27 again. John answered and said, a man can receive nothing except to be given him from heaven. That man that dipped you in the water was a demon. It just took time to manifest. That wasn't of God. Read on. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said, I am not for Christ. Because Christ is the way, the answer. Okay? That's why the whole world is waiting on his return. Whether you believe in the Bible or not, time revolves around his life and his death. That's why anything before Christ we call B.C., the reason why you're in September 30th, 2020 is because of his birth and his death. When he was born, time stopped and restarted. You're on a countdown to the end of the world because he said he's coming back to judge the earth. So everybody want to dismiss him and act like he don't exist. Why did they change time on that man? If he's a fictitious character, why does so much emphasis put on him? Why are so many people saying, I'm washed in the blood of Jesus? Why? That's what you got to ask yourself. That's why we're out here. We can answer you according to the Bible, not according to our opinion. Don't believe no religion. Religion is man-made. Read on. But that I am sent before him. He, John the Baptist was sent to pave the way for Christ. He was important 2,000 years ago, and he's important right now. Read on. He that have the bride is the bridegroom. Because it's a marriage between Christ and the Israelites. Christ is the groom. The Israelites are the bride. But the friend of the bridegroom, which is John the Baptist, John the Baptist was a friend of the bridegroom, which is Christ, which standeth and heareth him. He's now listening to him. How does he feel as he hears Christ's voice? Rejoiceth. He does what? Rejoiceth. He does what? Rejoiceth. So I want you to rejoice in what Christ says, not being dipped in water by lying fake men that just want to take money from you and use you. And it has no profit in your life later on. These words have profit. That's why we're out here. Because we believe in the Savior. We believe in our King. We believe in our leader. This government has failed us. 
So we rejoice when we heard these words, and that's why I'm out here trying to get you to rejoice also. Yes. Read on. Greatly, because the bridegroom's voice. Read it again. Rejoice greatly. Read the whole thing. He that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom. Which is John the Baptist, who is dipping people in water. He's the friend of the bridegroom. Which standeth and heareth him. He stopped what he was doing to listen to Christ. Rejoiced. And he rejoiced because he knew according to the Bible that this man is going to save everybody. Read on. Greatly. How did he rejoice? Rejoiced greatly. He rejoiced greatly and that's how I want you to rejoice today. Because the reason why we're out here is because we rejoiced greatly when we heard and we understood these words. We finally saw we're going to get help. Somebody's going to save us. This world has failed us. Our parents have failed us. Our grandmothers have failed us. Our religious leaders have failed us. Our government has failed us. He rejoiced greatly because he knew according to the word of God, this man is going to change the world. And he did! We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>